it's Dr. Taste. Welcome back to Operate Now. Today we're doing pericardium surgery. Now, in case you guys haven't gone to medical school for 82 years like good old Dr. Taste, pericardium is the little sac that surrounds the heart. Sometimes fluid gets caught in between that and the heart causes problems. So surgery is needed to drain that fluid. That's why all those smart people are coming to me, good old Dr. Taste, to help them with that. All right, now today, Nurse Laura isn't here. She's on vacation. I don't know why she gets all the vacation time and I gotta work my butt off, but whatever. Today we're being assisted by the lovely Cookie. Don't get in my way, Cookie, or I'll crumble you into bits. That's right, <laughs> Warning, this game contains graphic depictions of surgery. Don't try this at home. Of course not. You'd be an absolute idiot to try it at home. Leave it to the experts like me. Now sit back, relax, Grab some popcorn, and we're going to learn all about the guts that's inside each and every one of us. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, here we go. Hello, doctor. This is Robert. He has been suffering from severe chest pains these past few days. Let's begin with an x-ray to determine the cause. All right. Okay, Robert. You've come to the right place. X-rays. All right. Right in here. Just relax. Here we go. Use the control panel to place the x-ray machine on for Robert's chest. I know that, Cookie! I know that! Okay. Uh, uh, down here. Uh, oh, that looks good right there. Bam! Oh. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Looks like you got some fluid built up in the pericardium. Oh, the x-ray shows an accumulation of fluids inside the pericardial area. See? I told you. This is a clear symptom of pericarditis. I knew it. I knew it all along. A pericardiectomy needs to be performed in order to remove a small part of the pericardium. This will allow the fluids to drain. Ooh, we're learning all kinds of big words today, aren't we? Yes, we are. For this operation, Robert will need general anesthesia. Usually I like to use your left and right crosswalks to knock people out, but we'll go with your suggestion, Cookie. Okay, we'll use anesthesia. All right. <laughs> Please grab the anesthesia mask. All right. Don't worry, Robert. Bye-bye, nighty-night. Have some, some nice dreams. Close your eyes. There you go. There you go. Okay, great. Now we need to isolate the chest. Please select a sterile sheet. Okay. Sterile sheet. Cover it up. There you go. Put it on. There. Now, just the spot we need to operate on is exposed. Before beginning the operation, it's necessary to apply antiseptic solution to Robert's chest. Select the antiseptic bar. Okay, let's do that. I know what I'm doing, Cookie. Just back out of my way. That's right. There you go. Look at that. Perfect. Perfectly coated. Good job, Doctor. Thank you, Cookie. We are ready to begin the thoracoscopy. It consists in accessing the thoracic cavity through a keyhole system. Ooh. A port will be used as a keyhole, which will let the tools access the thorax, protecting the patient's body at the same time. Wow. Three incisions are required for this procedure. Mark the spots where the skin will be cut. Pick up the pen. Ooh, Robert, I'm gonna draw a nice little bunny rabbit on you. Hope you don't mind. Just say no if you don't want to. Oh, I guess that means yes. <laughs> Just kidding. Just marking a few X's where I need to make the incisions. Don't worry, I'm an expert. Now it's time to make the cuts. Please pick up the scalpel. Ooh, this part always gets me queasy, but I need to do it. Oh, we're on a timer now. No fooling around. No more fooling around. Here we go. Oh, uh, great job, doctor. Inserting the ports should be easy now. That's right. Those cuts were precise. Ooh, three ports will be inserted through each cut. Please pick up the port set. Look at that, three ports, and I got three cuts. Okay, there you go. You don't feel a thing, Robert, do ya? No, you don't. Good work, doctor, we're all set. Next, let's check inside the thorax. Please pick up the thoracoscope. Here we go, got this. Take a little peek inside. Ooh, ooh. Now that the thoracoscope is inside, we'll proceed to the heart, okay. You got to use this. Oh, where are you, heart? Oh, there you are, there you are. Good job, doctor. Now we have a clear view of the heart. Yes, we do. Two minutes left. Oh, no. We need to cut the pericardium, opening a window so the fluids can leak out from the pericardial area. Yes, we do. I knew that. Please grab the Conquest Graspers. I love the name of that. One of my favorite graspers, the Conquest ones. Okay, gonna cut here. Ooh, there, now we got a good hold of it. Now that we're holding on to the pericardium, it's necessary to open a window. Okay, let the, let the fluid drain out. Conquest scissors, ha ha ha, yes, you can't have one without the other. Now we have to cut in here, 
There, oh, there's a fluid. Wow, great job. No wonder he had so much trouble breathing. That's right. Oh, a minute and 30 left. We gotta hurry to avoid further accumulation of fluids. It's necessary to remove a part of Robert's pericardium. That's right. So if this doesn't happen again, here you go. And, oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. the fluids are still applying too much pressure over the heart. It's better if we force them to drain. Select the Conquest Graspers again. Okay. Here you go. Do a little push. Oh, there. There we go. Wonderful job, Doctor. With the window finally open, the fluids shouldn't accumulate like that again. Select the Surgical Suction Tool. There we go. There. We'll clean this all up. Perfect. Look at that. And some over here. Look at that clean. 40 seconds. Oh no. Gonna remove these. Oh, there we go. Now, we just gotta suture them up and we're done. Pick up the needle. There we go. We need some thread. There you go. I know what I'm doing. There. Whoop. Whoop. Ha <laughs> ha. 20 seconds. Oh no. Can I do it? Whoop. Perfect. Ooh. Adhesive strips. Bam, bam, bam. Incredible! The operation has been a success! The patient... Three seconds, two seconds left to go! We did it! Now he can breathe easy thanks to good old Dr. Taste. And there we go, if you want another successful operation. Thanks, Doc! You're welcome, Robert! No problem! No problem at all! Make sure you pay on your way out! Don't forget to leave a big tip for me. That's right! Now, I have to give props to Cookie. She did incredible! Not as good as me, but she did pretty good! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Join me next time you can see me operate on another poor soul. Till then, as always, I am your Canadian Dr. Taste. I love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.